So this is my town. Beautiful beaches, lush landscape. But there's more to it than that. There's the other half. There's my people. And this is our struggle. This is ski. Take him back to Grant Street with that work. Yeah, me and my boys would stretch it further. Flip it up a few years later with this rap shit. We demolish it because we invest in harder. Big ups and... So what inspired me to do music was just kind of like... I had the talent to do it, and I always had an interest in it. You know, when I was younger, I feel like you all we all have that, you know, phase when we're younger, we're like, man, I want to be a rock star, you know, and everything. And I, at the, at it, for a long time, it was kind of in the back of my mind, like something I wanted to do. But then, like, I started, like, getting around people and seeing different situations to where, like, it was, like, a realistic and possible, like, living. And then the second I saw that, I was like, all right, let's, let's, let's work with this. And it's crazy back in the day. I say I I, I'm a big fan of like hardworking artists. So it's like, I'm a, I like James Brown a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hardest market working man in show business. Uh, you know, like uh, even just like some of the uh, older but newer artists, like, because I try to look at music like not only just hip hop, but like, you know, all of the genres. But like, if you look at like, you know, like the Beatles or Michael Jackson, you know, just people who have talent, but also like have like a great story behind them as far as like the work ethic they had to put in to be to where they are. So those are kind of some of the artists that I would say are inspiring to me. So I say the very, very, very first time I ever rapped in my life, I was like maybe 17, 16, something like that. But as far as like, me doing it as like a career and like really taking it seriously for myself maybe a year or two two years maybe now okay so like my songwriting process is like it's kind of weird um it gets kind of jumbled to a certain extent like i don't really like use any type of a uh, method to like record it like as far as like you know like a phone or a pen and pad or like computer or anything like i just kind of listen to the beat go through something in my head and then kind of like kind of copy and paste what I like and didn't like from that take I kind of did in my head and just do that over and over again until I got like a combination that I like. And then I just like start going off of that. Oh, uh, hey there, Zips, how you doing? Man, I'm good. As of right now, I've been on like, I call it like three and a quarter tours because the very first tour I went on, like I'm not gonna really get into too much detail because I don't like, you know, throwing dirt on any people's one's name. But I kind of, you know, was at that stage where, you know, I was new to things. And I was actually, when I wasn't really taking music, like, seriously, seriously, it was just, like, a random thing. I had some, you know, money to put together to do that. And I was like, oh, man, that'd be fun. So, like, uh, I got totally ripped off. <laughs> so, like, so I was, like, a quarter tour. So I did, like, two shows off that. But as far as, like, real deal, like, tours, I did a small, small run in Japan. And then the biggest tour I've been on was uh, with Project Pat in uh, 2017. And we did like, I think it was like 13 cities or something like that. Yeah, nah, I'm uh, going out on tour uh, with my guy Gorilla Zoe. And uh, it's called the Gotta Go Tour. And uh, you know, we're just uh, going around the country doing shows, rocking stages, you know, and just uh, getting on the road. <laughs> Is that a part of the music that you like the most out of recording, touring, practicing? What, what I, is I do really like touring. Like, uh, I think touring is like a really good tool for a lot of different situations. Like, I think that uh, from a financial standpoint, it's a good way to, you know, monetize your craft. And then I also think like just as far as like experience and connection and being able to really reach out to your fans. The one I like the most, I have to say, is Ski. It was, uh, we shot it down on, uh, Third Street. I had, uh, flew out and we shot it over there, uh, downtown on Third Street. And, uh, a lot of people came out and showed support. And, uh, it was, a, it ended up being a really good video. Like, uh, we even had something happen where it was like, if you see the kids in the video, like on the bikes and stuff like that, like they weren't like supposed to be in the video. Like we didn't know who they were. Like we were just shooting a scene where we had, uh, kind of blocked off the street for a second. We're walking down the street. And like some kids were just interested and they just rode up on their bikes into our group while we were shooting. So it was just like a really cool experience and uh, something where I could really kind of showcase a piece of Muskegon. So I really like that. I'd say it's either going to be a uh, ski 
or uh, my song called Trippy Song. Uh, I'd say one of those two. My brother, my brother and I do. Uh, we're uh, co-owners of it. You know what I mean? It's called uh, From the Slum, and uh, you know it's about uh, it's about urban blight and also like rising from zero and from the lower you know echelons of things and not being ashamed of doing that once you're higher up like just kind of not being ashamed of where you came from once you've got to where you're going biggest thing is is just being on your marketing like uh, uh like i but before the marketing thing i think it's the concept of understanding like that it's a business like i think that when you try to make money off of art or you try to uh, monetize art, it's like it gets different because you can't just look at it as art anymore. You have to look at it as a business as well, because that's kind of like an art form, too. So the biggest tip I could say is like if you're trying to just make music just for the heck of it, that's good. Do that. But the second that you want to make it into any kind of business or play in that realm, start like approaching it like a business and like building yourself up and learning what you do need to do and some things that you are doing that you might not need to do anymore. You know what I mean? So just kind of maintain professionalism. Well, yeah. Okay. So, um, as far as like the name, uh, Zips McGee. So, uh, like, uh, for a lot, for people who see my videos and stuff like that, like I, I do like to smoke a lot. So like, the word zips is there. So naturally like zips. And then, uh, when I was, uh, like I came across the word McGee and I just like found out that it means to put, it can mean to put emphasis on something. So I just saw zips McGee. So like zips McGee and then put another P on it. So it's not just, I don't know. I just want to put another P on it. And, uh, that's how it ended up being. And then as far as like my genre of music, I don't even really know what my genre would be classified as. I just kind of, make what I end up making and it ends up falling into whatever it ends up falling into. You know what I mean? Like, that's so hard, man. Cause it's like, yeah, I mean, uh, probably, probably I'm going to get you sucker. <laughs> yeah, probably I'm going to get you sucker. Probably. That's a classic though. Yeah. I love that movie too. I like me Paul McCartney. Man, these are the favorite questions <laughs> are hard. Like uh I really like ramen. Really? Yeah, I like ramen a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I got I got like well I liked it before I went to Japan, but then when I went to Japan, like it was like game over. Like when I had like the real deal holy field, it was like yeah, it's something else. Man, I just want to like, uh, I think my motivation is to motivate. Like I like to, uh, like I look at like what I'm doing as like kind of like a proof of concept to the people around me, you know what I mean? And the people who are around the people who are around me. Like I just want to, you know, of course, naturally, you know, build my ideal life and be happy. But like outside of that, like I'm just kind of trying to show people like, hey, you could start at like absolute zero, like even negative and you know still go to wherever you feel you want to be so it's just kind of showing people that it's possible i would say because i feel like if i do that and i show people that's possible that i'm going to have a great all right along the time so 2018 i want to uh of course nail down this uh gorilla zo and uh, zips mcgee got to go to her get that all done taken care of rock a whole bunch of shows meet a whole bunch of new people and then uh, I want to get a new single that I have coming out going and uh, really just stay on my marketing and then uh, get my content up and uh, really just build up more of my digital strategy and start touring more. Like that's going to be the new thing is like you're going to be seeing me on the road a lot more doing shows in a lot of places. Awesome. Lots of shows, um, and being seen, but <laughs> like, and just being happy, you know? Yeah, like, uh, that's, that's what I would say, yeah.
beside between that and just kind of building other businesses, like just trying to make my make my mark. Yeah, absolutely. I want to shout you out <laughs> for for the uh, for letting me uh, come down and uh, checking me out, checking out what I have going on. And then uh, you know, I also want to give a uh, big shout out to some of the people who've been working on my new projects. I want to give a shout out to my guy Larry Fessler. He produced like basically all of uh, my original project, Dream Architect. And then I also want to give a shout out to my guy D Lynch. He's working on my uh, new single right now that I got going, you know, and I'll be having a lot more to talk about with that. And then, you know, actually, other than that, just shout out to my town, you know, my town, Muskegon, my hometown. Like I, I travel around a lot and do a lot of different things. But like at the end of the day, I, I, I'm from, you know, where I'm from. So I do try to try to stick as close to home as possible with the things that I do. So shout out to Muskegon. Hey there, Zips, how you doing? Man, I'm good. Oh, uh, hey, buddy, what's going on with your eyes? Open up my jaw, grab my dropper. dropper. It hit my tongue, gosh, golly, yeah, yo, that's a whopper. whopper. We going up, so pack the song. Oh, you ain't know? Yeah, you ain't this my trippy song. This my trippy song. This my trippy song. Party like Jimi Hendrix, smoke like Cheech and Chong. This my trippy song. This my trippy song. Yeah, you know it's on. This my trippy song. I'm tripping out like my shoelaces ain't tied. Why your pupils big zips? Look, homie, I'm fried. But it's groovy. No need to call the hazmat. When I say I'm touching other planes, I ain't talking about aircrafts. Walk other dimensions. We're futuristic hippies. Travel, promote peace, and remind the people that their life is nifty. Excuse my slang, my mind is out to lunch. Medulla oblongata, feeling soggy. Old Captain Crunch, feel it. Synapse exploding, just like pop rocks. Close two eyes and open one. Yes.